Hello, uh, in this video I want to show you how to use uh, point filters feature in Wayfire Voronoi. Uh, here it is. This rollout. There are four point filters outside of object, outside clipping gizmo, noise and texture map. The first, the first one is uh, outside object. It's pretty straightforward. If you have a lot of points, let's say 1000 points here. And as you can see, a lot of them outside of the geometry, so they will not produce any fragments anyway. And uh, you don't want to use uh, points, you can ignore them. Uh, not uh, moving the actual point cloud, which is box right now, here. So instead of remo uh, moving this uh, point cloud, you can turn on this outside object toggle. And in this case, as you can see, it will ignore. Uh, Disable all the points which are outside. You can go to display, and here's show ignored. So um, all the spin points right now are ignored, and modifier doesn't use them for fragmentation. So uh, if you have some uh, tricky geometry and you see that there are a lot of points outside of the geometry, you can ignore them all by turning on this outside of object filter. Also, you can. Um, no, uh, I will turn off this is show ignored. Also, you can invert your selection. In this case, they will use only points which are outside of the geometry, but uh, obviously, it's better to use points which are inside. And also, there's uh, three, way, two mo three modes ignore, glue, and delete. I will talk only about ignore one. Uh, about glue, there will be another tutorial. So it's enough as outside of object. Another one is outside clipping gizmo. And when you turn on this outside clipping gizmo filter, you see that there is a clipping gizmo subobject mode appears. And using this uh, gizmo, you can actually define area which you want uh, use and which you want to ignore. Also, there is a ty three types of uh, gizmos, box, uh, spherical, and uh, cylindrical. Let's use spherical for now. Okay, as you can see, my point cloud is still box, and instead of moving moving uh, the actual point cloud, and let's say if I want this uh, lower area to be fragmented more, instead of moving the whole point cloud. Uh, I can simply keep it as is and turn on this clipping gizmo uh, filter. And now, using clipping gizmo, I can move it and uh, define area which I want to fragment. So, um, in this case, I'm not moving the points, I am moving the area which I use. This might be very useful in case you use some tricky point clouds like radial or objects or maybe you have some tricky points in custom mode. So instead of editing all these uh, point clouds, you can define area simply using outside clipping gizmo. And again, you can invert selection to exclude some area. So now it will uh, fragment only area, uh, this area and this area. Let's fragment. Okay, it's hard to see right now. There's a lot of edges, so let's go to display and turn on these fragments. And as you can see, in this way, it uh, uh, show every fragments with different color. So you can change it to box and edit this box gizmo. Okay, now you can see there are fragmented area here and the fragmented area here, and uh, this area is not fragmented. There are just the big pieces from the points which are positioned here. 
Uh, also, if you play it with your gizmo and you want to reset, you can right click to this toggle and hit here, click here, reset gizmo. So now it uh, reset. Let's move on. The next one is noise, and uh, it's better to show use this box to show how it works. So let's play a fire war noise, and it might be useful in case you have a lot of fragments. Let's say put here two thousand points. So here's your point cloud, and uh, it's pretty rel uh, uniform right now. So you can use noise, and it's hard to see right now actually. Let's increase scale. So now you see that it start using the noise pattern to exclude some uh, points. Let's play even more. Let's increase it. Maybe decrease filter. So using this noise you can quickly define some uh, noisy pattern for your fragmentation. So as you can see right now it's not so regular. So this way it's pretty uniform. All the uh, fragments have this pretty the same size. And with noise uh, as you can see some fragments are small, some fragments are big. And playing this property you can uh, define the looks you want. Just toggling it on and playing with the scale. Also, you can uh, combine all these point filters. So let's say I can use noise, and then I will toggle outside clipping gizmo, and use clipping gizmo to define like this area, and ignore all the this area. So this is why we implemented um, this uh, functionality using these point filters because you can use all of them at once plus you can use all of them for any of these point cloud types. So first you can uh, set up your point cloud and then instead of messing with actual points you can adjust them further using these point filters. And uh, let's uh, turn them off. And the last one is texture map. Uh, and as you suppose it uh, needs some bitmap, you can use also any uh, procedural map, like checker. But let's use some bitmap. So I have here this rayfire word, and see, since uh, this word was written using the black color, as this area right now is excluded. So let's invert our selection, our filtering, and now you see it. Also, let's uh, scale it like this. So uh, again, I want to mention that you are not moving actual points; you're just moving the filtering. So the points stay on their position. You're just moving uh, area which you want to use. So this is how it looks without filtering, and this is how it looks when you start using filters. Also now let's increase the amount of points. So you see that there are 2000 points but used only 509 points. So you can set here let's say 5000 and it will uh, create, uh, make uh, filtered points 1248. So let's actually scale this texture gizmo. Oops. Like this, and now we can click fragment. So, this is how we can create some uh, point cloud distribution using some texture. And again, this was used only with simple box with uniform distribution, but again, we can use like radial. Uh, let's increase count and uh, raise. So, as you can see. I'm using completely different point cloud distribution, but using filtering, 
I get some pretty interesting. I, mean, I can get some pretty interesting results. Okay, let's let's go back to box. And again, there's a couple of properties which you, which allows you to play with edges. But since my uh, image is uh, just black and white, there are no gray <coughs> gray colors. There is nothing to to change using this property. And again, you can reset your gizmo since you can remove it. And again, you can combine it with other uh, filters like noise, add some noise, or add some clipping gizmo. Just make sure you're selecting the proper one before adjusting it. So, uh, as you can see, uh, if you saw the previous tutorial about this point cloud uh, types, uh, they are uh, allows you to create any point cloud you want, and combined with point filters feature, you can basically create whatever you want. It's a very flexible system, so just play with it, and uh, you'll see. Yeah, it's basically uh, you can do whatever you want using this point cloud types and point filtering. In next trail, I will show you how to use glue. It also uses this uh, filter system, but it will be another tutorial. Thank you for watching.